Did you know that Michael Jackson is partially responsible for six of Tom Brady's Super Bowls? Let me explain. So the year is 1984, Michael Jackson's solo career is taking off, but his brothers convince him to do one last run and they go on what's called the Victory Tour. The shows themselves were promoted by a kid named Chuck Sullivan, who promised them an advance of 36 million bucks, which is about $100 million in today's money. Now, in order to get the loans to cover these costs, he had to put up some of the family business's real estate holdings as collateral. Chuck didn't really know what he was doing. He kept forgetting his all access pass and couldn't get into the venues, demanded crazy tax breaks from the cities they were playing in, which of course, they were like, no. And most embarrassingly was denied a concert permit in his home state of Massachusetts. Now the tour ended, the Jacksons made boatloads of money, but Chuck lost a fortune. And sure enough, to cover the loans, he had to sell the real estate holdings that he put up as collateral. See, the one thing you should know about Chuck Sullivan was that little family business that he owned with his dad was literally the New England Patriots. And those real estate holdings that they put up as collateral was Foxborough Stadium. They eventually sold Foxborough Stadium to a guy named Robert Kraft, who eventually bought the team in 2001 and drafted a little known quarterback named Tom Brady. And six Super Bowls later, he has Michael Jackson to thank. Boom!